to have an entire family and glamour. Hey guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We are entering episode 4. I'm super excited. I think after episode 4, there's only one more episode before the end of the game. And I'm very curious to see who the murderer is and how the rest of the story develops. It's been a really great game so far. There's a lot of character development. You get to interact with a lot of different characters. And But the best of all is, like, you know, there's a lot of options and different paths that you get to pick. And I think that's what's really great about this game. It's it's not completely linear. They do give you some, you know, different leeways, uh, different choices that you get to make. And this is what happened at the end of episode 3. Bigby gets cray! I killed him! One of the twins, I'm not sure which one. It was a good show, but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take him! Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Ah, oh, she broke his arm! I didn't even see that last episode, God! In with the new, long live the queen. Oh man. I wonder what would have happened if I let the twins live. One of the twins. I don't remember which one it was. Is it Colin? Oh. Did you kill Colin? Oh. The heck? See you around. Oh. Hollow <clears throat> point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. Jeez. Hmm? Is he okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh. His eyes. Oh. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What? God, his arm! Oh my God! There was. You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon, me. <laughs> oh God! Look, That's so disgusting. Say, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. <laughs> oh, I have to push this! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Why? Why do you insist on doing this? Why do you... Oh my god! Ah! Look at these eyes went yellow. Oh my god. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky. Holy there. butts! Won't be next time if that was really him. intense. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. Goodness gracious, they make this thing look so painful. It would be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. God. Oh. I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Ha <laughs> ha-ching! couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... If you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. He wants her to stay. I made it so he... N what? Oh. Hey How much longer? Alan, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Uh, <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. 
Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yeah. I like your ribs. God, his, his like, chest hair is like drained all the blood. That's so disgusting. I don't know if it's his blood or if it's uh one of the Tweedles' blood. And well, this time. Oh, that was really fast. This time bandaging. Eat as many metal guns as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Well, that wasn't even near his heart. You'll be fine for light duty if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been. An unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Watch him all night long. <laughs> Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Did I say anything? Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Oh! He does not like Car Colin. Maybe because he has a heart of the pig. Ha <laughs> ha! Slain hurt. So. How do you um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hug him! Kiss him! You I, I... Uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... Or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. It scared the hell out of everyone. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. One of these two, and one of these two. I don't know. It was just awful. You were really worried about me? I don't, I don't know how to answer that. That's kind of a... Yeah, you were really oh, up, God, Colin, get out of here! Oh my God! Colin, you ruined the moment! About him is all. Oh, Colin! You well, cock blocker! What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Do you only have one set of clothes? Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows. No blood. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Are you right there, Colin. Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. Yep. It's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word. I don't know what the witching well is. Right now is Maybe it's in the yeah, fable book or something. What does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <laughs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Not the time to be saying that, Big B. You should probably take a rest. 
war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Wow. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. Best isn't good enough? So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Ah, uh, that's so pre that's so predictable, though. Sure, you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night? What you turned into? It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we oh god, come on, talk faster so I can decide. And that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Oh man. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk. Oh. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. Oh snap, you tell her. Put her in her place. I chose the wrong option. <laughs> I know what it's like, and I know what it's like to lie to yourself, to justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. But you are other people. I care about how this is done. You're not the big bad wolf. <laughs> so for that, you want to give him a handicap? Oh. Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? Uh... For a reason, Colin. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Oh, God. You're gonna make me decide? Uh... Hey, that's not your phone to pick what up. Residence? That's rude. Buffkin, what is it? Oh. Yes, that's more okay. okay. But still, that's rude. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess My phone. in your office right now. Buffkin? Woodsman. Narissa. Beard. Narissa. Oh. That broad from the puddin' and pie? Yes. Puddin' pie. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only... 204 at the open arms. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Colin, shut up. Piece of work. You ruined everything and made hey, everything tense you're between not us. You're really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Oh. Uh... I mean, you seem real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Except you, cock blocker. Gosh. Be a wolf. 